Okay, people, I rebuilt this. This is a steel FS250. I rebuilt it from scratch. Uh, went to a lawnmower shop, a repair shop on Cullen and Reed Road. About parts. I done it for the first time by myself without prior knowledge. This is a piece of cake. Yes, Mr. Trump, bring business back to the United States. This is this is this is simple. Common sense. Pretty much it's not like I'm inventing anything or designing anything. It's just common sense. You just put parts together. That's all this is. You you put parts together. Magneto. Back in the old days, we call this a magneto. This is the carburetor. Uh, it's simple. Take this off. You have what you call diaphragm. And then on this side... No, this, okay. On this top side, I think, will be the gasket. On this bottom side is the diaphragm. These are the gauges, I mean, uh, screws, where you uh, flow, you uh, adjust, uh, regulate. Now, when we use laws and regulations, regulations and laws don't mean the same thing. Regulation, so in this sense, regulation would mean control something. Laws are the, um, I'm not sure what we would call, what would laws be that govern a society and regulations are the, so if you use regulations with laws, so rules and regulations, rules and regulations are equivalent such as saying pussy and vagina means the same thing, so rules, rules do what? They regulate the uh, steps in a process by which one goes through. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a carburetor. Mm. Yeah, so it took me a while to figure all this out. I had to uh, dismantle this thing. I've never, you know, I, I was scared to tackle it because this is a very expensive weed eater and I didn't want to screw it up. But I was left with no choice tonight, today, so I, I tackled it. <laughs> and thank you, God, I didn't screw it up. It was so simple, very simple. Uh, here's the muffler. I sanded it down with sandpaper. I want my equipment to look brand new, but, of course, I, you know, oh, well. I just wish my son, Caden Lee Whitfield, was here to see what I did here for the first time I've been doing I've done this since I was like 7 years old but I was also locked up for 19 and a half year, years so a lot of things I forgot uh, but I feel very you know good I don't want to use the word proud but I do feel very good that I was able to uh, take this cover off and go right down to the shaft that connects to the engine which is split in half and it's you know it connects and it rotates uh, I guess you might call it a cylinder uh, I don't know what the names of these parts will be but now I know exactly how to rebuild one and when I was on crack I could repair a television you know at night, I you know under lamp posts like that, and go sell it for crack. Okay, hey, sir, señor, yo quiero televisión. Uh, Le gusta, quiero. And, you know, yeah. How much? Uh, twenty dollars. Not gonna play with them. Okay, they have no problem giving me twenty dollars, and I can go buy me twenty dollars worth of uh, uh, crack or rock. But as I said, I wish my son were here tonight to uh, you know he wouldn't understand much of anything at all at you know his age uh, he will be uh, one year on the 24th of this month which is August of the year 2017 so he will be he, he'll become one years old on his anniversary as measured from his day of birth he was born at one o'clock straight up coming out the wound of my wife wow
All right. Um, yeah, this is very simple. So anyone, uh, you believe it, accept it, feel it, know it, life. Nothing in life is really hard. Um, so from this experience tonight, uh, it's, it's one thing, uh, before I end this video, it's one thing to do something like this. I have a backup weed eater. I have an air coat, but I don't like it now that I've got the steel because I know the steel is supposed to be the top of the line. And I guess if you want to do anything such as going into business, you want the best equipment. You want the best equipment. And you want to know not only how to operate the equipment, but how to repair them to know the science. But thank, you know, you. Good night. I guess uh, I need to continue the video. I, I'm glad I didn't stop it. I only paused it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, this shelf here was the one I was going to put on here, but it didn't spin from down here so I didn't know why wasn't able to uh, figure it out uh, in the night anyway but this engine I will keep it I can make it work on another steel uh, I'm sure that's yeah that's a, an S F250 engine there so um now start it make it and let it run um, I'm, that was an earlier video I believe too to show it was all uh, pieces everywhere but now it runs okay I'll just the only need to do is put this back in place so it's not necessary to be in place right now and then put the, and I got two spare carburetors Nothing wrong. I rebuilt one of them. Uh, overhaul, I should say. Overhaul, not rebuilt. Uh, have me a spare muffler. So I'll start it. Yeah. 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 Start it. Okay. It's on. Turn it on. Let's throttle down. Barely pull it. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Satan is something else. Now that's not good. It does have gasoline. Uh, there can be no more shortages. So why would it go dead just like that? Uh, let's see if it's going to kick back off. So that tells me that there was very little gas flowing from the carburetor through the fuel lines into the engine. Uh, so that uh, would justify it uh, going dead, I suppose, if that's the case. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, in this car, car here. Uh, my cousin, double cousin Chop, he pointed out the other day, I wasn't thinking about, you know, normally back in the days when a car went out, you just, you know, threw them away. But, you know, I guess back in the day also we would sand this uh, mag uh, steel part down. It's not magnetic, but you sand it down, remove the corrosion, and so that it, the current can flow uh, through without obstruction. Ah, uh, well, let me hurry and put this up. Uh, CPS has been engaged in dividing my wife from me. She she has uh, she has insight in her from her in her school. She has good insight in her school, but her school is the school of stupid. So she come up in the schools with, you know, she was born on January fourth, nineteen ninety four. So I'm not sure what we call her generation. I come from Generation X. I think her generation is Generation Y. And this is the generation that uh, the New World Order people assumed that they could uh, get the New World Order in place. 
But Donald Trump came and I came and that's not gonna happen. Good night.